Do you want to walk the plank? Cause I sure as hell don't want to walk the plank. Arg. <laughs> oh, that's not cute. Yo, come make me food and do my homework while I film. Mm, my headache. Just kidding, I'm just gonna clean this all off because I don't like the way that this is going. So. La la la. La la la. Okay, take two. Now this beautiful scar you see right here, I'm not happy about it. At all. At all. Do you understand me? So I was thinking if you continue to just watch this video, I won't have to make you walk the plank. Choose wisely. for Halloween because it's gonna be a really, really, really exciting month. And to be honest with you, I don't really wanna make you walk the plank this month. So I hope you're tuning in, I hope you're subscribed, and I hope that you like this video. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, good. In this video today, I'm gonna show you how I get my beautiful makeup right here. Makes all the pirates. <laughs> Makes all the pirates go goo goo eyes for me. But I hope you'll continue watching this video. Or else. To start out this tutorial, I'm gonna start with the eyes only because we're doing a really, really, really smoky eye. So I wanna start with that so I don't get any fallout all over my face and basically make myself look like a raccoon. Because we're going for a pirate here, not a raccoon. So, I'm going to take my Max Paint Pot and lay in low and my Smashbox 24 hour eye primer. The eye primer is going to go first and then the paint pot and then I'm going to set it with a little bit of powder. You know how it is. I do this in all my videos. So after I've applied my eye primer, I'm going to go into this IT Cosmetics palette and into this burnt orange color and I'm going to be putting this in the crease of my eye and bringing it a little bit higher in the inner corner. Then I'm going to take a darker brown color and just pop that right on the inner crease. And then finally I'm going to jump into this Urban Decay NYC palette, such an old palette guys, and I'm going to place this brown color on the outside of my eyelid. All the products are going to be listed down below, so if you want specifics, make sure to go check that out. I'm taking the color Perversion from Urban Decay and using that as a smoked out eyeliner on the top of my eyes and underneath my eyes. And then I'm taking this dark, dark purple color to the inner corners and bringing it halfway to the middle of my eye underneath my eyes. And then I'm taking some Bio Biosense makeup remover wipes and just wiping away any excess makeup that fell on my cheeks. Lining my eyes with a black liquid liner. This is the Joer Kitten Liner in black. And once I've put on my liner, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lashes. I'm applying the Adore, new Adore from my da Ardell Lashes in Olivia. Yeah. 
Once I've applied my lashes, I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm just shaping my brows out with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And then I'm filling them in with a liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Gel in Dark Brown. I'm then taking this beautiful white color just to blend out the brow bone. And then I'm taking my Benefit Gimme Brow to give my brows a little more texture and help the hairs stay in place. And once my brows are on Felic, it's time to get onto the face. I'm using my Prime Time from Bare Minerals and then I'm mixing my foundation together. This is the MAC Match Master Foundation in 4.0 and 5.0. I did three parts 5.0 and one part 4.0 just because I'm in between. And then I'm using this NYX Dark Circle Concealer underneath my eyes, blending that out with a beauty blender, and then I'm jumping back to my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural just to highlight all of the areas of my face. I'm speeding all of this up for you guys because I know this is just some basic shizness that you guys already know. And then, of course, I'm moving on to baking a little bit. I'm going to bake underneath my eyes and in the T-zone, and then I'm blending it out with a powder brush. For bronzer, I'm using the Lorac Tantalizer and my favorite, favorite, favorite brush in the whole entire world. I want it to be really tan and chiseled for this pirate look. And then I'm applying a red blush to my cheeks. This is Scarlet, Frankly Scarlet from MAC. I'm taking that same white shadow from the It Cosmetics palette to highlight my face. And then I'm also taking an It Cosmetics mascara to my lashes. Then moving on to the lips, finally I'm using this duo sided lipstick from NYX Cosmetics. It has a black liner on one side and a red lipstick on the other. This is called Hearts and Spades. So I'm going to use this to fill in my lips and create a really intense ombre lip. And then I'm using my Too Faced Melted Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Melted Velvet. And then finally, I wanted to blend out the shadow underneath my eyes a little bit to make it a little softer, and that's it for the makeup. So to finish off this pirate look, there's two other things that I want to add to it. I'm going to add some earrings and a headscarf, but I also I want to add a little scar or a little like knife sword fight type cut right here. I actually like, you see this right here? So my hair got into my lip gloss and did that and it gave me the idea to kind of show you guys how to do a cut without using like this crazy like wax stuff like this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to start out with just like a black shadow and I'm just going to make a line where I want that cut to be. With that same brush I'm going to go into the orange color that I used on my eyes and I'm just going to blend it out around it. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see better. Ooh. So I'm just going to blend this color around it. I'm going to get a bigger brush. So this is going to give it just like a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to take the color Java, which is almost like a reddish brown color, and I'm going to do the same thing. This one's going to go a little closer to the black. So I want to make this cut stand out more, so I'm going to add kind of like bruising around it. So I'm going to stick with this same palette, and I'm just going to take a little bit of the violet color right here. And you want to do just a very little bit of it at a time. Now I'm going to use fake blood on my cut, but you can use like lip gloss, lipstick, anything like that will actually stay. Um, the fake blood that I'm using is this blood gel from Graftovian. And I'm just going to line, literally go right on top of that cut like that. And I always like to just honestly go back and forth into all of the colors to make sure that 
my shading is really good. That's really what it's all about. Is getting the shading perfecto. I'm just going to take a little bit more blood and add some little scratches around here. So I just picked up this little scarf guy from Spirit Halloween. I also have this white shirt on right now. This guy is actually from the Goodwill store. First time I ever went into the Goodwill store. So I actually kind of like the way that my natural hair is for this look. So I'm going to leave it like that. A little messy. And then let's put this little scarf on. And we are all finished with this sexy pirate makeup. Do you guys like it? Because I kind of like it. I like it. I actually might be this for Halloween. I like it. Oh, gotta put earrings in. I want to thank you all so much for sticking along. I don't have to make you walk the plank now. I hope none of you end up with this scar. If you leave now, I might have to just slice your ass open. Thank you mates for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making it for you, as I always do. Don't ever forget that. I hope to see you all in the next video. <laughs> or you know what lies ahead. Make sure you're subscribed too, or that might end up in walking the plank as well. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Hmm, I hope you have a great day. Oh, and I hope you can swim. Bye-bye. <laughs>